All right, so I did want to go over this interview Sharp just did with this former reality star, Masika, where Sharp gets absolutely furious with her for owning him several times during the interview and making him look like a complete fool, etc. And he just didn't have the answers to the test, and so he just got totally fucking infuriated and had a meltdown. Walks off the set of his own show, infuriated looking. He looked like a shitty ass little bratty kid. And uh, during the interview, before he walked off, Masika was just relentlessly kept brutally owning him and made him look like this incredibly pathetic, clueless, gameless fraud. I mean, Sharp really uh, let this woman come on his show and mark him out like a silly ass little bitch. And it was just really fascinating to sit back and watch it all unfold. And I want to share it all with you uh, if I can. So Sharp gets way too drunk, right, per as usual. And he just became so stupid and just lost control of all his emotions and everything, his composure. He really uh, shows his hand. I mean, this interview really gives us some good insights into his true identity. And it really sort of calls into question the identity that he portrays, which is like this ladies man slash P. I mean, this is Sharp's claim to fame, right, is to be a P and have the unique ability to be able to talk a woman into anything but this interview this looks like somebody who has difficulty talking to women simply put this is a good old-fashioned strikeout i mean he really crashed out uh this looks like someone who uh probably doesn't have a, a lot of skills with women sharp may be able to like talk game into like these street walking prostitute types but when you got an intelligent beautiful woman in front of him he's just gonna absolutely crash and burn we're gonna see a, a lot of that here in a second so let's begin with our first clip of this afternoon and this is going to be the start of the interview the opening and this is uh, very important because this is where the tone was set for the interview sharp automatically starts to assert himself and starts to neg her negging is like when you say negative things about a girl that you're that you are trying to flirt with in order to uh, lower her value while raising your own at the same time and so what you're going to see is sharp automatically negging her within the first 25 seconds of the interview he's already insulting her he says that he doesn't even know who she is even though he's hosting her as a guest on his show he doesn't know who she is he says and how insulting is that right even i mean even if she's not really that famous to to, to treat someone like that and another thing uh, he says that she has an ugly fucking stupid ugly ass voice that's insane why would you say that to a woman anyways this is ap uh, macking and uh, sprinkling game upon this uh, uh, this woman. Watch this uh, clip. The Sharp Tank. No jumper. Sharpest, coolest podcast in the world. You like that? How when he say we're good, I just pop it the fucking Period. That's what you gotta do. You ready? Like that. <laughs> if you stay ready, you ain't gotta get ready. <laughs> <laughs> we got Masika Kalisha in here. Did I say that right, baby? You said it perfectly. Huh? I know I got a perfectly. raspy voice with it, but so you know I? I try to... <laughs> I just want to comment really quick on Sharp's voice that he's bragging about right now. This is not a cool voice. This is a sick voice. This is the voice of someone who has poor respiratory health. A lot of phlegm, a lot of rattling, productive cough. I mean, it's just disgusting for you to bring that up as like an attribute. Yeah, I got this raspy voice, baby, because I smoke constantly. Fucking cigarettes, weed, hella shit. I don't give a fuck. I'm smoking it. Used to smoke crack, probably. You know what I mean? Like, that's not something that you want to brag about. But now we're going to hear Sharp say that uh, sh her voice is ugly and further insults her by saying that he didn't even know who the hell she was and everything else. Watch this. I told you, I was like, look, I said, I didn't know who you were, right? I knew, I knew somewhat, but Cat. I didn't know who you were. But I said, if I would have heard you in a Target or in a Walmart, from around the corner. I would have thought you sounded like an ugly bitch, but I would have hit the corner and I would have been like, damn, okay, she actually bad. Like, oh, and she sound like a chick that got something going on. <laughs> Voice sound real powerful. <laughs> So he's saying that he would probably see her at a Walmart or a Target. Okay, what the fuck is Sharp doing at a Walmart or a Target? First of all, that's insane. We've seen Sharp dress in Walmart clothes too. So that's crazy. So Sharp is the, Sharp the P shops at Walmart and Target for his clothes. And that's where he sees these women at. That's where he... So when he looks at this woman, he it reminds him of someone he saw at Walmart. That's fucking crazy. That's low budget pimping right there. I don't give a fuck. That is low rent as fuck. So anyways... That was incredibly insulting. That was the uh, intro to the show. 
Like, what the fuck was that, right? So the interview would cruise along, and every point Sharp tried to make got shot down by this woman, and she was absolutely right. And the commentators all agreed with her and not him. It was a huge F uh, for Sharp. So uh, this next clip is, this is where things took a turn, and this is where Sharp recommends that this former reality star get back into reality TV and go on baddies, which is an incredibly degrading, uh, misogynistic, incredibly uh it, it's not it's not it's very uh low brow okay and it's not something that this high class woman was interested in as, as she said and so this comes off as another insult and she just has kind of had enough of this sharp guy and so she starts letting him have it and she uh suggested that she would go if she was ever to do this again this reality stuff she would be on Housewives. That's what she's aspiring to, to do. And so they argue over whether or not she would be qualified for Housewives. And this is where things start to really get crazy. This is where Sharp loses it. He starts becoming super, uh, like, unhinged a little bit. He, he's he's uh, pleading to this crowd that's sitting in the room off camera. Starts turning to them and, like, appealing to them. Because he's obviously losing with this... Uh, this woman sitting across from him. So this is actually really cool. I want to show this to you guys right now. None of them, like, would you ever be willing to, like, go on, you know, bad, you know what I'm saying, baddies or something? Hell no. What no, is that? Hell no. You would, never, <laughs> ever, you would never step over to that type of realm? Anyway. Um, <laughs> um, you would never step over to that, to that realm. I mean, or hell, would you even do your own shit? So the only okay, so that was horrifyingly cringe. I mean, what is this? This is a P. He looks like a juggalo to me. He's got juggalo hair. He's got juggalo jewelry. He's got juggalo tattoo. Look at the tattoo on his face. That's like a clown makeup tattoo. Okay, this guy's a juggalo. I think. Um, you know, even this uh, cough syrup shirt. If this, if it wasn't a Desto Dub fit, if it would, that was just the shirt, plain shirt. That's how Juggalos dress. Okay, so what's going on here? Is this? Do we have a Juggalo? I mean, if someone told me that Sharp used to be a Juggalo, I would not be surprised. I wouldn't even make a video about it because it wouldn't be news to me. I wouldn't have anything to react to. I think Sharp's a Juggalo. Okay. Uh, you know, he's got this fucking haircut. I don't know what to make of this haircut. Okay. This is a 35 to 40 year old man. He looked this, he looks like the guy from that movie. So, uh, moving on a little bit, I want to get into the blowout here and this is where sharp. So he's like, wow, you're going to go on housewives if you're not married to anybody famous. And this is what he asks her. And she's like, I don't need a famous husband. I could just be a famous girl. And like, it's not, it's all TV. It's not all fucking reality. TV isn't actually real. You stupid idiot. And so sharp gets offended because he gets fucked owned by this person that actually has experience in the industry and sharps just this guy from soft white underbelly that claims that he once was a p which i don't believe a, a bit of so this is really interesting so she actually owns the fuck out. he has no idea what he's talking about so she owns him and then he starts appealing again he starts looking to other people in the room going hey fucking i forget what his name dick trace or donnie hey donnie what do you think uh fucking uh you know and it's just really stupid and i want to show you guys what i'm talking about watch this so the only current show in syndication that i would have any desire to do is housewives um that's the only reality show that you got to be a housewife to like really do that or with somebody that they know i am a housewife but with somebody that they know. I, they know me. Who gives a fuck about that? Sharp's all fucking drunk. Fucking. But with somebody that you know that you made him. It's like, give me a fucking break. Like, this is every show. He just gets no hammered. Disrespect, no disrespect to the husband. Right, but no disrespect I, to the I, husband. I, mean, I would think that they do. But you know, no, mean, they don't. Because half the housewives aren't uh, even married. But they make sure that it looks like that, right? Marlo was never married. No shade to Marlo. Love Marlo. But Cherie's makes, divorced. Uh, Portia was divorced. Like. Needy got divorced on the show. Uh, Kim but they all Kim had a had, a had a sugar day that never came on camera. Like the, the title is housewives, but and, I mean, and this is no shade because these these women paved the fucking way. These were the reason why I would do the show. So this is this is not a jet. Most of the housewives ain't never been housewives. I'm currently a housewife. Like that's not all I am, but like so I, I honestly, if you think if you think about it with these show housewives, stay I home. would love to stay home. Well, but, I thought that was the true definition and the meaning of the show. It's it's a remix definition because none of them are actually mm -hmm. none of the none of the women are truly well, some of them maybe, but most mm -hmm. of those women are truly aren't the definition of housewives. That's just the title of the fucking show. So I don't like and, and if you think about the show is about don't the you women. Think that's false advertisement. 
Who said it's false? It's, it's a remix definition. I'm just saying, don't you? When you, when, I mean, if you if you, you want to get down to the meat and potatoes, then sure. But who cares? Hey, Donnie, a, a show called Housewives and has no real housewives on it. Don't you feel like that's false there's, advertisement? There's no way that you're. <laughs> the, there's no way <laughs> that you today that, that you, false advertisement. It's like I'm watching a show. That's called Housewives. How many okay? years has this show been on, and right? It has no Housewives on. How many years has this, has this show been in syndication? Shit. At least a decade, right? At least a decade. So they Sharp have... thinks that by law, these TV shows have to uh, be completely real. <laughs> like, isn't that false advertisement? If I'm watching a show called Housewives, there's no fucking Housewives. Absolutely, Sharp. Absolutely. You're 100% correct. I, I, don't, I don't even have any more comment on that. But that's where it turned. So now Sharp's turned up. And he's just got this huge problem with this woman not wanting to go on this ratchet-ass uh, reality show where all these women beat each other in the face for absolutely no reason. So she's not really interested in that. And so and Sharp's got this huge issue with what the fuck? That's a that's a great idea I had. I'm trying to put you on some game, but I, I wonder if he has any game at all because this re went really terribly for him. He okay, so he says, well, why don't you go on baddies and try to talk some uh, of your game to these women instead of fighting them? And she's like, I don't have time for that. I don't need to be uh, helping people that don't want to be helped. And so they have this huge argument, and then she uses it in an analogy uh, for Sharp's alleged pimping game back in the day. She basically puts it into an analogy and applies it to his uh, claim to fame, his profession that he loves so much. And, you know, all the virtue signaling Sharp gives off to everyone, uh, he's got a lot of people fooled, but not this lady. This lady does not respect him. She only came on this show because she has a really terrible agent, okay? I hope you guys understand. So let's go to this next clip. This is uh, going to be the furthering of the blow-up. Okay, let's talk about your daddy issues. And, but look, but that's why there's You're there to fight. Pussy. It is very cool because guess what you won't do? You're not going to kill yourself trying to save somebody that wants to drown. No. Did you tell these bitches that they're, th that they're throwing away their lives? Throw away whose life? Back in your previous life. Okay. Or your previous career. Uh, I, did you tell these bitches that you was hoeing out? Baby, don't sell your pussy. Is that throwing their you lives should've. away? You should have. You should have said, baby, not, you have more listen, value. Listen. Don't sell your coochie and bring me your money. But you it's did it. About, because hey, it because they weren't there to learn. They hey, were there to turn tricks and make money. Let me tell you something. So why the I'll fuck be, should I be better than you? Comment, hey, commentate. I'm going to tell you this, baby. See, me being in the game and how I move, sweetie, they gave it to me. I never had to go sit there and do any of that. I got Well, I got to sit there and do it. I'm just telling you, baby, you don't have to do anything. Exactly. But if it's a certain type of knowledge, I'm going to still give the bitch the knowledge. Shit, if that's what she's already But you're still going to say, bitch, run me my money. That don't got nothing to do with bread. It do. That's common sense that you're giving people. It do. That's common sense that but you're again, giving people. Again, I'm not, not going to go in the lion's learning. den. But I'm not going to go in the lion's den. That's higher learning that you're giving them. Like, hey, you got to pay a fee to Listen, get this part. I ain't a school that's teacher. That's fucking basic knowledge. I'm a school teacher. I ain't pass a school that teacher. around to people. But and that's I pass why it around on a retarded. different platform. That's I do. Why, but that's why we're retarded. It's because we're not willing to share that or process that with I each share it all day. All right, so Sharp's getting pretty belligerent, okay? He's incoherent. He doesn't know what the fuck he is talking about. This is where he gets so fed up that he actually walks off of his own show. And meanwhile, the uh, guest just sits there calm, cool, collected, laughing at him, uh, roasting him. This is really cool. Watch this. I, need to I don't it. give a fuck where you go. You should always be willing to spread knowledge. That's ridiculous. I don't give a fuck where you that's, go. And that's, that's where ridiculous. we fuck up. That's ridiculous. That's, that's, that's where ridiculous. we fuck up. Because you don't do that. That's where we cross the do it. I always do. Even if it come off aggressive, I'm always trying to give some game. Whether they reciprocate in the way what? That they're supposed to. You can to pick and choose what like doors you matter. go through. That's dumb as fuck. That's dumb as fuck. That's why I left Love and Hip Hop. Because at the end of the day, I have daughters right that are here. gonna be looking you at me. Get just as crazy as them bitches. That's why I said I feel like it's a perfect fit. Well, you know what? Dr. If you Sean feel like Bad that, Bad. then you it's go fucking get some of them bitches that you used to pimp it's, and you go what's put that them got on there. To do with anything. This because is you're you talking like you talking like you father to This is what I'm into. That's a personal jab. I'm just talking about you. It's not what I'm into. Already been into. You're into reality TV. No, baby, you said this is what I'm into right now. I quit. I quit in 2017. What is reality TV? 
year? Go back to my motherfucking pen What is the what year? What the fuck's that got to do what with you? What is the year? I'm gonna be honest with What you. is the year? Ain't that more past What the year are we in? It? We're in your present. What year are we in? Ain't this 2023. What you do, but no, ain't this what you, you do? said this is what I'm into. Other than the music. I quit what in do 2017. Do? Don't you do reality TV? What year is it? You know you on some What year is it? 2023. I quit in 2017, honey. So, but this is what you said. You said this is what I currently do. Why would I want to? You shouldn't have to. Why would I want to? Love and peace. You sound crazy. I know I do, because you're going to go in there and you spread sound... hate. Hey, you... Donnie. No, I ain't going to go in there at hey, all. Donnie. I ain't going to go in there at all. That's why they have a VIP section with VIP no ropes, jumper. and they don't Sharpest let certain people pass the ropes. In the world. That's why ain't certain no people don't get past the roast. VIP rope, honey. I'm not going. I'm not doing I'm not jumping in the crowd. Shoot us out. I'm on the stage for the reason. On well, if you, I'm shit. on the stage for a reason. You no, know you be playing. No, you playing. Enough, and you playing yourself. You so mad. Hate it, love it. Listen, you, you can get in that motherfucking camera all you motherfucking want. I said what the fuck I said. I ain't playing the motherfucking thing. Only thing I play is the piano, and I ain't even that good at it. How? What? Did you pour something else in that cup? Well, that's why I'm a millionaire, baby, off, off of everything else. And that's why I and that's why I paid to quit. And that's why I paid to get out of the contract. No, I came I came on here because be, why are you off camera talking? Are you are you that mad? Are you that mad? You are mad. You, you got veins popping up. You got veins popping up. You must be mixed. You turning red. You are you, are you mixed? Are you mixed? Are you mixed? So Sharp walks off his own show. How is that profession? I mean, this is insane to me. But hell, what do I know? Anyways, that's the video. Uh, Sharp walks off his own show. This is uh, pretty funny. Let's go down in history, I promise. And uh, I can't wait to see the next episode of Sharp Tank. I hope everyone subscribed to Sharp Tank. I hope you guys go and uh, watch this interview and give it a like and a comment. All right, uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate all the support, by the way.